I reacted to this album when it came out. I always thought I should have did or something like this right after listening to it, but I never got around it. Plus, I was told I missed our first song on this, actually. Hold on, let me change these tiers. These are my, these are my rankings. All right, got this all situated. Don't put anything on the Bible. I'm gonna have to put it in. I'll put it in all right. It's not a song I really go back to often just because the long build up. The build up isn't bad though. It's just something ideally that I don't want to listen to most of the time. Don't rely on other men. I'm gonna have to put this in a skip. No, 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 no. I gotta remember, I gotta remember the guitar solo. I'll put it in and all right. Guitar solo at the end saved the song for me. If it wasn't for that, I'll put it in skip. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. We gotta be honest. What the hell does this say? Either on or off the drugs. I'll put it super astronomical. This song is so simplistic, right? But simplicity is king. You know, you can have a lot of good ass chefs in the kitchen. You got a lot of good ass chefs making one thing though that can make the food taste bad as a final result. Too many chefs in the kitchen. That's where simplicity comes in. Get you one chef or two chefs. Wow, you got a five star course meal. Either on or off the drugs is real simple. It's a real mellow song, but it executes itself perfectly. I'm gonna put it in super astronomical. Ex-military, once again, super astronomical. Easing them, waking them, easing them, waking them with the switch. That's sublime. I pledge allegiance to my, it's my, it's my, and me. Every morning I get down on my knees for a god that I can't see. I recover from this. I'm about to pass. I don't go back and watch my videos, so I don't have any specific recollection on how I reacted towards that. But the more that I listen to this song, the more I let it marinate in my brain, the more I let the lyrics soak in consciously, I'm like, bro, every line on this song speaks to me, bro. It should speak to every man. My bitch never got took in from me. I lost her myself over this, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, sad, but it's like, well, yeah, it's sad. It's like a melancholy-ass beat. The song is like thug tears. My bitch never got took in from me. I lost her myself. Nah, I'll, bu I'll bust to that song, bro. I scream in the mirror before I interact with anyone. I'm gonna put this in the skip. You know what I mean? I didn't really like it as an outro. I mean, uh, 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 intro. It was just too much going on. You know, the thing about JPEG Mafia, he does implement a lot of sounds in this stuff, right? And a lot of the time, it can be cohesive still. That's what makes him so great. But I feel like this is one of these songs where the cohesion just wasn't there. It was just a cluster If I'm listening to this song, it's because I'm listening to the album as a whole and I'm waiting for a C miendo. I'll be right there. Super astronomical. I'll be right there for you. I don't want none of them problems. Y'all want none of them issues. You got issues with your barber. I got issues with the Clippers. That's a bar. People don't, don't get it, they will never get it. But people that do get it, they understand that's a bar. And you can never go wrong with a soul sample and rap. That's that Shaq and Kobe combo. It's dark and hell is hot. Um, I really don't like. I, all right, that's this is the one song on this album where, well, I just really don't enjoy this song. Like I would actually prefer not to listen to it. I think this is the worst song on the album. You know what I mean? Even Steph Curry airballs sometimes, bro. You know what I mean? That's life. Jihad Joe. All right, I don't even got much to say about this. It's just all right, extremely all right. JPEG Ultra, I'm about to bust. Got them goddamn trumpets coming. And you got Denzel Curry coming in, talking his talk, flowing on that mother. When they're done, dun, 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 dun. the tempo, the pitch gets lowered. Dun, 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 dun. The key gets lowered. You start feeling like a great medieval knight in a cathedral. And you're about to duel against a dragon. And then Peggy comes in. This is my light. I just woke up as a child of light. Energy's there for both of them. Energy on a hundred thousand trillion for both of them. And then when Peggy's done with his song, there's a B switch. The B switch is hard as fuck, nigga. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. 
Uh, Jetpack. Oh, I don't know which. So these are so good. These songs are good as hell. Oh, uh, I gotta put. I gotta put. I recover from this. Just cause every line on I recover from this, it's like it's like a Bible quote, bro. Loop it and leave it. I put this on astronomical. It reminded me of like some some Nintendo 64, some Sega space game. I don't know where the sample's from. That's a, that's the a thing that I love about this album too. I know JPEG Mafia produces his own stuff. And you know, I don't talk about it a lot, but like I, you know what I mean? I did some production here and now and then. If you go, go back and look at my channel. Coming from somebody of that world, when somebody finds obscure ass samples and flips that, it's just, it's just astronomical, bro. It's divine. I got a different type of appreciation for it. Cause like people, they just listen to music. They just listen to music. They don't really like, it can't really dwell on them, how hard that really is. But I see it. I see the vision. And he was flowing on this song. I'm putting it in astronomical. New Black History. Unfortunately, this is a skip. This unfortunately, this is a skip for me. It sampled Future's Hook on Mama Sita by Vince Staples. Hard hook, right? Hard hook. I feel like the beat on this was lazy. Or it wasn't hard. It was either one or the two or both. Both Vince and JPEG Mafia. They didn't really they didn't really come come with it. Pause. There was a line Vince said, I think niggas don't get this hot to their dad. I was like, all right, that's a bar. But like, other than that, that's really the only thing I can remember from this song, bro. I hit the lottery. I hit the lottery. Like, yeah, this is a skit for me, bro. Unfortunately, I wish it was an astronomical, super astronomical. See me in though, super astronomical. I'll say this is the best instrumental on this album. The chops on that. Those chops where there's like a third of a second pause, but then it keeps going on. Third of a second pause, then it keeps going. Those are the hardest instrumentals ever. It's something that should be utilized more, bro. Or, 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 or maybe not, because then it'll lose its flair. Bibbidi O's, let me see you touch the ground. You got the swag of a nigga from Chatterbait. Stick talk, let the chopper elaborate. Nah. <sighs> Do I want to put this in bus? Do I want to put this in bus? Do I want to put this in bus? No, 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 no. You don't make me bust. You don't make me bust. But, like, you edge me, though. Bogan display of power. I'm going to put it in astronomical. I remember my first initial listen to that. When I heard him say I jug and finesse the game, I was like, bro, this nigga, this nigga, bro. Real life poet. Real life. Real life. Not social media. Not on no video game. Not in the movies. Real life. This has been my tier list. Um, This is the most accurate tier list. Nobody else matters because people don't digest music like I do. It is what it is. This is the most accurate rating. If you disagree, you have a football jersey IQ.